Today I'm gonna show you how I photo edited this photo and why this photo? Because this photo got a lot of reach on Instagram. Now there are some basic steps that I did to edit this photo and I'm gonna show you in this video exactly what those steps are. I'm not gonna show you the step-by-step -step tutorial like I usually do because that can be pretty boring if you're not inside Photoshop now and you not wanna follow the steps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Photoshop and I'm gonna show you each layer that I created in this file to get this effect on the photo. And that way you can also learn from this and you don't have to do this yourself in Photoshop and you can get some information about this style of photo editing. Now this photo is interesting to look at because when I open up this photo in Instagram, I posted this on Instagram and let's scroll down to my Instagram. You can see this photo got a lot of reach compared to all the other uploads that I have. So when I look at this photo, I go to the insights. You can see here, it gets a lot of reach from non followers. That means that this photo got pushed through the algorithm to a lot of new people and it also got new followers. So here I'm in the Photoshop file of this photo and when I scroll to the layers, you can see I have a lot of layers and a lot of these layers I don't even use. And what I usually do is I create a lot of different effects and if I don't like it, I just disable the layer. Like you can see here, a lot of layers just got disabled. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna delete these disabled layers because we don't need those. Let's disable all these layers and move to the first one. Now, this is the starting point. So this is the original photo that I got. Then let's start from the first folder and here is the effects that I created. Now I started here with the eyes. You can see when I enable this layer, you can see the eyes start lighting up. And this is what I do with the Dutch tool. So with a Dutch tool, you can select the Dutch tool here and you can select range midtone somewhere in the exposure at 50% and you just brush those eyes and you get this effect. Now this layer is gray because I created a gray layer. You can see when I put this to normal, it's gray. And when I change this to blend mode to overlay, it's only visible from the effect I brush, right? So this is the first thing. Then I change the eye color from this kind of yellowish to gray, just to have a different kind of color from the background. I don't want to have the same color as a background. I just want to have some different color. So I change it to gray. And again, this is just a normal layer. You can see here. And when I change the blend mode to color, it changes the eye color. Then we go to brushing the shadows. And when I enable and disable this, you can barely see it, but there's a little bit of shadows on the right side. Now, when I change the blend mode from overlay to normal, you can see the areas that I brushed. And the same goes for the highlights. Here is another area. So you can see I started with brushing the left side lighter and the right side darker because I wanna create some lighting coming from that side. So I wanna make sure those areas are lighter on the left side and the right side would be darker. And again, this is a 50% gray layer and that is what I usually do to use the burn tool to create these darker areas and the dutch tool to create these lighter areas as you can see here. When I zoom in here, you can see I also brush this little cup here on these top parts of its paws. By the way, if you want to see step-by-step -step tutorials, I have a full Photoshop course on photo editing wildlife photos. Make sure to check that out in the description of the video. All right, let's go back to the file. And when I look at the next layer, and this is the lighting. And this light effect, I just create with a brush. And the easiest way to do this is to just pick something random color, like almost whitish yellowish, and just make it like that and move it to the side. And you have your light effect like that. So that's just basic steps. You can see here, enable, disable, we created light effects. Then we have some color balance. You can barely see this, but I added a little bit more yellow tones to this image. Let's move on. The next one is, it's an empty layer. This is nothing. Then we go to the bottom part and here you can see I added this puddle of water. Now this was created with AI. So what I basically do is I just select this bottom part, make a selection out of it and tell AI puddle of water and it created this puddle of water. Although I did a little bit more variations, I think I created like 10 puddles and this was the best one. All right, let's move on here. Next we have, let's see, this is a little bit like nothing. I think this is just all the layers together. Let's close this folder now. Then I have a selection of the leopard. I didn't change the background, so I'm not sure why I had this. Maybe I want to change the background a bit darker or something like that, but 
I probably didn't even use that one. Now, here is the interesting part because when I got to this point, I started with using my Lightroom presets and here you can see how much of a difference that makes. By the way, if you wanna get these presets, check the link in the description. They are on my course site. You can get them on my website if you wanna get these presets. When I look at this preset, I'm gonna enable it here. Look at opacity here. I'm not using it at 100%. I'm using it at 57% because when I use it at 100%, it's way too dark. I don't like it like that. I just wanna have a little bit of a touch of that effect. And here is another preset. And this one, I changed the blend mode to overlay and I only used 12%. So when I put this at 100, you can see how dark it gets. It looks pretty cool, but it's a whole different image. And I didn't want to have it like that. I want to have it light like this. So I use it just a slightly touch to get out of areas a bit like that. Let's see, this one is an empty layer again, nothing. And this one is probably just a little bit of darker areas on the right side to make sure the left side stays lighter. Then we have some curves here. I don't think I changed this one. This is the original one. So that is also an empty layer. And at this point I got to camera raw and you can basically see there's not much done in camera raw. When I double click this, it's a smart object so I can always change it. I did some basic corrections like the light here, some tint here, I added some of this tint here and the effects here. I removed some texture to make it a bit softer and the clarity, uh, it was at zero. Didn't even change that. Let's see, did I change the color? I didn't even change the color. Here I changed the calibration a bit. So here you can see I made it a bit more kind of goldish because I like this gold effect. And here I did some changes to the green and blue. And that is pretty much it. So that's the basic steps I just did to this photo to create this effect. And when you put this in a folder before and after, it looks pretty much the same, but it's a whole kind of different setting. So if you wanna get these step-by-step -step videos to do this yourself, instead of showing you how I did this, check out my Photoshop courses. The link is in the description of the video, and there you can learn everything yourself and transform your own photos into great images. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.